This video is brought to you by PatientGuard, experts in medical device regulatory affairs and quality assurance. What are the clauses of ISO 13485? There are eight main clauses of the standard. Clauses 1, 2 and 3 are information clauses for the reader, detailing references and definitions of words used in the standard. Clauses 4 to 8 discuss what is needed to implement and maintain an ISO 13485 quality management system. In this video, we will discuss clauses 4 to 8. Clause 4 contains the general and documentation requirements for the quality management system, including the need for a quality manual, medical devices file, the control of documents and the control of records. Don't worry, we'll discuss this in more detail in the next video. Clause 5 contains what is required from the top management of an organization using ISO 13485 quality management system. It details the management commitment to the system and having a customer-focused approach. It outlines the importance of a quality policy and the need to plan for a quality management system. Clause 5 also contains the need to determine who has responsibility and the authority for the system, who represents the top management of the organization, and how the information relating to the quality management system is communicated internally. The last section of Clause 5 covers its management review. It details what is needed in terms of input into the management review, as well as output from the management review. Clause 6 focuses on resource management, outlining the requirements for resource provision, the requirements of human resources, and the requirements for infrastructure. Finally, Clause 6 discusses the work environment and contamination control. Clause 7 focuses on product realization, the planning of product realization, customer-related processes, design and development, purchasing, production and service provision, and lastly, on the control of monitoring and measuring equipment. Clause 8 is all about measurement, analysis, and improvement. It details the requirement for feedback, complaint handling, reporting to regulatory authorities, internal audits, the monitoring and measurement of processes, the monitoring and measurement of product, the control of non-conforming product, the analysis of data and improvement from corrective action and preventative action. In our next video, we look at Clause 4 and the general requirements of an ISO 13485 quality management system. If you like this video, then please click like and hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos from PatientGuard. Making regulation easy.